Uh, in this video, I will give an overview of how to uh, create and use scripts and use defined functions in uh, MATLAB. Um, so in uh, MATLAB, in the MATLAB editor, we have the command window where you can type one command at a time. But typically we need, in most cases, uh, to create uh, multiple, li multiple lines of um, commands and then we should use uh, the script editor instead. So then we can just, in a um, MATLAB uh, software, we can just um, select new new script and then we can we get this uh, script editor where we can enter multiple lines of code and then when we are finished writing our code, we can just click the run button in order to run our program. So we will go through a very simple example where we will create a script or a so-called M file because the scripts we are creating and we need to save them on the hard drive as so-called M file. Uh, it meaning the file needs to have the extension M dot M. Um, in this simple example, we will just create a vector of random uh, data and then we will use some of the built-in functions in MATLAB the average and the standard deviation. Uh, we will run, learn how to create the scripts and learn how to run the scripts using the ru uh, run button. And you can also run or execute the scripts from the command window. So in uh, MATLAB, we have the command window where we can enter one command at a time. But if we select new script, then we will uh, Open, MATLAB will open the script editor and here we can enter multiple lines of code. So let's start entering some code. Let's start to create this vector with the random data. So then we use this built-in round function. Let's say we want a vector with uh, t elements uh, like this. And then we can uh, save this script clicking the save button and then this select file for save as uh, pop-ups and then you need to enter a valid file name which ends on .m. In this case you can just call it uh, random example and also note um, the scripts cannot have uh, use spaces in this uh, in the file name so instead of space a space you should use an underscore like this and then when you're finished in the file name you can just click save and then you see it's saved with the file name here and then you can use click the run button in order to execute the script and then the results from the execution will pop up in the command window so here in this case we are created a vector uh, with random data like this using the built-in RAND function. You can also execute this uh, script from a command window typing the name. Oh, I have a spelling mistake here, so it's called RAND um, example. You click enter and then you see the script is executed. But now we can enter more uh, lines in our script, so we want to find uh, the mean, then we can use the built-in mean function like this, mean x. And you want to find the average, uh, sorry, the standard deviation, so then you can use the built-in function for that. So now we have entered a script with uh, multiple lines of uh, MATLAB co code. We can also enter comments using this percent sign. Like this. So either we can use uh, uh, create co uh, um, comments on separate lines or we can enter them after a command like this. And so this is just for make it more easy to read the code 
that it will not be executed. So now we are finished with our script. We have created a vector with random data. We have used the mean function and we have used the standard deviation function and we have entered some uh, uh, comments. Typically in a script you should also use this clear command on, on the top in order to clear all the uh, variables in a workspace. And we also use this clc command in order to clear all output, existing output in the command window. So always make sure to add those two in the top of your uh, script. So now we can run it. Run, and then you see the script is executed. First the x vector, and then answer, this is the mean. And here we have the standard deviation. You can also put this into variables like this. You can call it m, m equals to like this, and uh, we can call this s equals to to the output of this function, and then we can execute it, and then you see we get m and we get s. We can also of course use semicolon like this. And then we run the script now. There is no output since we get um, we use this semicolon. But of course we can type x and then we get the values executed here. We can type m, we get the mean, we can type s in order to get the standard deviation. And we also see the variables here in the workspace like this. So this is how we can uh, use the uh, script editor to create uh, MATLAB programs that con contain contains of more than one line of code. And then we can see the output from the script in the command window. And we can use the run button in order to execute the scripts. Or we can execute them here in the command window typing the name of the script. In addition to create the scripts in uh, MATLAB, we can also create so-called user-defined functions. We have already used many different built-in functions in, uh, in uh, MATLAB. We have used the uh, uh, mean function, we have used the round function, the standard deviation function, etc. These are built-in functions that is part of uh, the MATLAB or some of, uh, some of the MATLAB toolboxes. But we can also create and use our own uh, functions. So let's see how we can use create and use uh, functions in uh, MATLAB. So as you know, um, MATLAB has a built-in function for uh, calculating, calculating <coughs> the average value or the mean value. But now we will create our own mean function, which we will call calc average in this case. And this function will uh, find the average or the mean of two numbers. So when you have created the function, we can test the, or use the function in the command window uh, like this. So let's see how we can do this in uh, MATLAB. So let's start to create our first um, user-defined function. Then we, we do the same as uh, creating script. We use the script editor, so just select new script. And then we need to start with the, with the function keyword keyword in order to define a function. So we type function, and then we need to type the, the return value. Um, the return value should be the average uh, data. So I just call it AV, which is equal to to the name of the function, which you should call calc like this, calc average. And then this function should have two inputs, a and b. So this is just variables. We could use the x or y. Uh, so this is the name of the function. And we use the function keyword in order to define our own function. This is the return value of the function. This is just also a variable, which we could call something else. And next, it uh, just type enter. 
and then we enter the, the body of the function. We can call it AV. This is the return value equals to should be should uh, this average should be the average of the inputs a and b so then a plus b divided by 2 like this so this is the body of the function we could also use or add comments so we can type here also comment this is my average function or something and then we type help pair in the command window later then we will this this comment will uh, pop up but now we have created our function using the function keyword the name of the function the input arguments which is a and b and the return value here is av which we define here in the in the body of the function like this so then we can just click uh, save and then we need to save our function as an m file but one important thing we have to remember this is the name of the function and the name of the file needs to have the same name so in this case our function is called calc average and then the m file that is stored on the hard drive need to have the same name so just click save there now and the function is saved so now we are ready to use our function either from the command window or we could have created a script that we used where we use the function but let's start with the command window then you can define x from variables x equals to 2 y equals to 4 and then we can use this calc average function like this then this is the name of the function and then we have defined x and y here and then if you click enter now you see the return value is calculated by this function so 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 2 is is 3 we can also put the return value into a another variable like this so set equals to the name of the function and the input arguments and then this set value will pop up like this or if we add a semicolon then we get no feedback from MATLAB but we can type set in order to get the value that is stored in this uh, variable instead of using variables here we can also enter numbers uh, directly like this click enter and then set is calculated like this you can also type just like we do for a built-in function you can type help and the name of the function like this and click enter and then you see you get this uh, comment is which we enter here in our function will pop up here in the in the help so here we can enter a quite advanced a help message to the user like similar to the built-in functions so if you type help around for instance you get a lots of help and examples how to use this function so how this is um, this makes it easy for, for the user to see how we can use the functions on with some examples etc so this we can also use for our own function in addition to using the functions in command window we can also create a new script so click just click new script here and then we can type x equal to 5 b equals to 7 and then we can use the function here within within a script like this And then we can just run it but then we need to enter a name for our script first we can just call it test test my function or something and then you see uh, the output here 
pops up in a command window like this. So this is how we use uh, create and use um, our own user defined function in MATLAB. So you can easily uh, create and use our own functions either in the command window or in the script window uh, like this. Just to make sure you got everything right about uh, user defined functions, let's go through one more example. Uh, in this example, we want to create a function called circle and this function should uh, calculate uh, the area of the circle uh, for a given radius. And then we will, so we will create this function and then we will run and test it uh, using the run button and we can test it from the command window. Then we start creating the function using the new script and then start with the function keyword like this and then this output of this function should be the area then you can just call it a equals name of the function you can call it circle and the input to this function should be the radius r like this here we could enter some uh, comments etc and then we can uh, create the code within within the function according to this formula so the area should be equal to pi which is a built-in keyword we can use multiply with r uh, r squared like this so this is uh, the formula you can use to to calculate the, uh, the area of the circle and then we can just click save and um, by default the name of the function pops up with circle.m because the name of the function and the name of the file need to have the same name so just click ok and will save and then our function is defined and then we can uh, use the function either from the command window or from the script window but let's uh, use the command window in this case so then we can just type like this circle 2 and click run oh sorry uh, you shouldn't click run here we should just click enter and then we call the function and the function is executed and the function is uh, calculating and uh, the area according to this uh, formula we can also set r like this r equal to 3 and then use the function circle with the r as an input like this we can also have an output like this and then and in this case the output of uh, internally in the function is a but here we don't need to use a we, here we could use something else we could use like this so, so these variables here and this variable don't have they don't need to have the same name because these variables here are internal to the function uh, but uh, while these um, variables here is um, is available for all uh, scripts and functions within, within within the workspace so the same with uh, with r we can use here we can use x instead and then type instead of r we can use x like this so this is how we use to uh, how we create and use functions uh, within matlab so as you see it's quite easy to create uh, your own functions and use your own functions either from the command window or in another script it's also easy to create scripts that contains a uh, multiple line of calls in, and using the script editor instead of the command window